There's a lot of us in here, but uh, I'm going to get started because my timer started and I'm going to run through this. I don't really have time to talk about who I am, but my name is Anton Gunnarsson. I work at a company called Empire Digital. I have a podcast called ASDF, which is in Swedish, but the domain is pretty awesome, so I had to put it up there. Uh, all right, so uh, CSS is awesome, and you've, most of you have probably seen this, but we are going to talk about two things that are making CSS more awesome than it already is. Maybe can I, can I get a woo for everyone who thinks CSS is awesome? That's, that's much better than I thought. This is just JavaScript CSS haters, was my assumption. No, but we're going to walk through uh, the has selector, which is basically the parent selector, and we're going to look at um, container queries. So I'm going to run through these demos, because I've made myself look stupid, because I have so much content. So we have this uh, form with a label, and you know, if you have an error in this form, you would like the label to also be styled something. So if I write something here like Nordic yes, and then I do this, you see, the, the label turns red and the, the form itself. And if I do something like uh, email.com, then it turns green. So if you look at the source for that, you have this form, you have a label, you have an input, you have this pattern that does the validation. And down here, you set the, the colors using CSS variables. So you have color. And then you have this has thing. So you say that if the form has a child that is invalid, set the color to red. And that's basically how it works. So that's really cool. And we're going to walk through some more demos of has. So let's go on. Here's another one. Is this a great lightning talk? Yes, no, or other. And if I select other, look at that. This is just CSS. It's amazing. And if we look at the source, we have the same thing. We have this other class. And we have this recent input. And you set that to display none as the default. And then we have this thing, like if the form has an input that has the class other that is checked, then the recent input that is also a child of the form, set that to display block. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Here's another one. All right. Uh, I stole these images from Nordic's website. Don't sue me. But uh, you can see this is also pure CSS. And the cool thing with the has selector is that I'm actually styling like the things I'm not interacting with. So if we look at the source, it's basically a grid with some items. We set that one grid item when you hover it, set the scale. And then you say that, all right, the grid has an item that is hovered, then set all grid items that are not hovered to opacity 0 0.15. And that works just like this. It's fantastic. I'm on time. Way after already. All right. This is a tab component also built with CSS has. Fuck the source. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have time for all this clapping. We have to move on. All right, uh, here's another one. We can count children. So if you do this, I forgot that I, that was a temporary image. But this is me after I've been at the barber later. All right, uh, so if we add this, look at the emoji at the top. It changes. Woo, it's fantastic. And this is, this is a horrible code, though. It's just you hard code every child, and then you do things. Yeah, all right, moving on. This is dark theme. You can do this. Sorry for the flashing. Um, but you can do this in, in has, like just do a checkbox and then set the root variables and yeah, moving on. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, now it's container queries. So container queries lets you query the uh, width or height and stuff of the parent instead of the entire viewport. So in this case, we are like checking on, all right, how many children do we have? So if I have two children, let's style them like this. If they are uh, one children style like this, and the cool thing is this isn't based on like how many children, it's just based on how much space this single component gets. Looking at the source, it's... We have time now. All right, um, so it's a list, and we have this like container type, we set that to inline size, which is like a thing you can look at later. Uh, we set the background color for like the, the default to uh, gold, then we have this container query. So we set like if the min width is 45 characters wide, then update the background color to Rebecca purple. And then we have another one down here, which is like if it's 90. And yeah, that's basically how this works. So you can do this, and it's also really cool. Another container query uh, thing. So most of us have probably built like a card component sometimes. 46 seconds, yeah, let's go. So you can do this, look at this. It's one component, it's only CSS. Let me grab it, all right. Here we go, look at it, look at it. It's only CSS. Yeah, that's worth an applause. All right. 
I stole this. Uh, I stole this demo from a guy called Jay Tompkins. He's fantastic. Follow him on Twitter and check out his code pens. And this is like the classic, like uh, I don't know, Family Guy guy ripping the CSS blinds. But look at this. You can do it with CSS and container queries. <laughs> All right. I don't know how much. Oh, I'm actually done. <laughs> Woo! You can. Uh, I have five seconds to say. You can find. Give me back my image. Uh, you can find the website. It's online at cssfuckyeah.netlify.app, and it's online on my GitHub. You can find my Twitter and uh, um, I don't know how to say this in English. Anton, but with a W after the A. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>